Hi everyone, how are you doing? I'm Zen, having worked for plant rental services in Japan for a long time. I would like to share know-hows about what kind of plants can be appropriately placed, where, and how to care the indoor plants throughout my show. Today, we will go through my greenhouse and you would be able to know the plants which can be placed under low light conditions. I think that almost all house plants can be managed in shady areas at home. Today I could also introduce you some plants to be located in an extremely low light rooms as in the pub where there is no or little sunlight all the time. Okay, then we can start. This is lapis palm which can be grown up strongly in shady rooms. Ficus Monsalandiri Ali is relatively well managed in such a low light conditions. Rubber trees are also fine without sunlight. We don't put fix umbellata at the shady place. Fiddle leaf fig is, well, can be placed in the entrance of the facilities where we would have little sunlight. Pakira aquatica, so called money tree, is a shade tolerant plant, but we shouldn't place it at an extremely dark room. Burgundy rubber trees can strongly survive in shady places. Since leaves of Ficus altissima are variegated with the help of sunlight, the variegation will be away if we place the plant in a low light room. Putting altissima in dark rooms would not be recommended. Irrespective, I think that rubber trees are generally shade tolerant. One important tip to manage indoor plants with low sunlight is less watering. We can talk about it later. Ficus bengalensis can be managed in a shady room. Kentia palm is also fine. Cat palm is also resistant against darkness despite of the white spotted leaves. Stradizia can be well managed under low light conditions. Chefrela might be okay, but I wouldn't use it for the plant range of services at low light locations, since leaves can be falling off occasionally in such a circumstance. Chamedoria elegans is extremely tolerant of low light as well as resistant with coldness. Cinnamon tree is also fine with being in shady places. Areca palm can also be managed if it's not located in an extremely dark area. Monstera, very popular plant among us, can survive without much sunlight. Philodendron celom is tolerant of low light conditions. We cannot manage Austrian chestnut in a dark room. Dracaena maruginata is not the right plant to put in a low light place. Dracaena delimensis, as known as Varenecki, is very strong even if located in dark places. Helenandiacea is not recommended for dark places since this normally lives in the jungle or in a tropical rainforest. We suppose that shell ginger requires sunlight since leaves are variegated. However, unexpectedly, this can be managed in a shady place. This is a good one which I would like to share today something to manage the house plants in a shady place. 
This rubber tree will just come back to us after completion of the rental period at the dark facility. If the plant is at the sufficient level of sunlight, the leaves get strong and even firm. However, leaves come out under shady circumstances, looks such color and weak. This means that we could place plants, however these can be fragile. This Crucia rose is resistant with low sunlight. Percoque palm, which is rarely used as indoor plants, can relatively be well managed in dark rooms. Philodendron oxycaudium is strongly survived in the sunshade, and we wouldn't recommend Cordylin, Strica, Glantis for the purpose. Lucky bamboo is also not recommended. Spasifilum is likely fine with putting in shady places. Peperomia is fine as well. Monstella adansoni is tolerant against darkness. As already talked about it, Peperomia is fine for this purpose. I think that Singonium can be survived better with less sunlight than expected. This Ancelium which has blooms will be managed in a dark bar or pub without sunlight. Karatea shows relative tolerance of darkness and lives well in darkness as well. Potos can be in low light. Neon Potos is also okay. I think that that's all something in my greenhouse for today. Uh, snake plants that you can see over there is also relatively good at being placed with less sunlight. As an expert for the plant rental service, I think of plants which can be placed in an extremely dark place, therefore we limit numbers of plants to be used for such a business purpose. However, I think that almost all the house plants will be managed at normal darkness level at home. Again, one of the important tips is changing the amount of watering depending on the level of sunlight at the place. For example, the water amount will be very little when rubber plants and chiflera are put with less sunlight. If this is a normal amount of watering house plants, the respective water volume for the plants in the dark room is something like that. I show now. With less sunlight, the degree of evaporating water from leaves would be little, and as a consequence, the plant have take less water. For peperomia, I would sometimes let soils in the pot completely dry. You would be good at managing your house plants if you get to know the watering amount by heart, depending on where the plants are. If you have concrete questions of watering amount in your special case, please directly drop the message to me. Of course, I cannot 100% guarantee since I am not in the place together with you. Today we went through plants tolerant with or without sunlight and how to manage them. It would be great if you learn something new. If you show any interest, please subscribe to my channel also don't forget to like the video. Then let's have a fun of the life with indoor plants together. Thanks a lot for watching.